Right, so today um, we're going to do June 2015 Equilibria um, Energetics and Elements. So let's kick off with this paper and see how we do. So the first question is looking at the transition elements and the first thing it wants me to do is work out the oxidation number of chromium in that complex there. So if we go through that, we know that oxygen is minus two, chlorine is minus one, but we've got five of that, so that is minus five. So overall, I've got a total of minus seven. The complex has a um, overall charge of minus two, and therefore chromium must be plus five, because five minus seven is minus two. So the question there is plus five. Write an equation for a reaction catalyzed by an element or um, iron. I think uh, the most obvious one really, uh, but you may think differently, differently um, is uh, our old favorite, the Harbour process, which is this one here. Uh, I obviously need three hydrogens there. And the catalyst for that one is iron. Okay, well, uh, octane complex A has that formula there, because this is two optical isomers. Um, so if, you're thinking opt if you think optical isomers, that's obviously bidentic ligands involved in some way. Um, and it tells me it is bonded to three molecules of a bidentate ligand B. What is meant by bidentate ligand? Um, a bidentate ligand donates two pairs of electrons to a metal ion, forming two coordinate bonds. What is the molecular formula? of this um, bidentate ligand. Okay, well if you think about it, we've got three of them. So if we just take this and divide it by three, so it's gonna be C3H10N2. Because if you times this by three, if I've got three of them in the complex, that's gonna be nine, that'll be 30, and that'll be six. Um, draw a possible structure for B, um, and explain how it is able to bond as a bidentate ligand. So you've got your two nitrogens. Hopefully you would have seen these in the um, work that you've done. You've got a carbon backbone of three. So I'm just going to do skeletal. And then you're going to have two hydrogens on each nitrogen. And obviously the main thing is you've got your lone pair on those nitrogens because they are going to what's act to be the ligand. Um, so that's the structure. How can it act um, as a bidentate ligand? Each nitrogen atom has a lone pair of electrons um, on it. And finally, what is the coordination number for this complex? Well, if I've got three of these boys, each of these has two coordinate bonds. So overall, it's going to have a coordination number of six. Okay, so now we're going to have to draw these boys. Um, <coughs> It ha uh, luckily luck allows me to draw my bidentic ligands just as a, a little curve there. So the main thing is that it doesn't matter where you go, um, oh, and it doesn't matter if you do that. Um, so let's try that again. So go back there. So you need one here. Uh, let's go one there and one there. And then this has to be the mirror image. So if this one's coming, like that, then you go like that, like that, and like that to give you your structure. Um, and they will be optically active. Okay, so the next part is kind of uh, six marks. Tell me what you know about transition metal chemistry. It gives you the options. You can do copper two or cobalt two. I've chosen to do copper. So first of all, with um, sodium hydroxide uh, solution, um, Copper 2 plus sodium hydroxide solution, you make a blue solution, goes to a blue precipitate, and your copper 2 plus plus 2 hydroxide gives you copper 2 hydroxide. You've then got copper 2 plus with ammonia, um, you've got your copper 2 plus in solution, four ammonia ligands to give you this complex here, which is a deep blue solution, and finally copper 2 plus with chloride ions, you substitute you have a ligand displacement reaction, all six waters come off, you get this uh, tetrachloro complex here, this is a two minus, 
and is a yellow solution as well. So it's six easy marks if you've learned your transition metal chemistry.